you just said you did a lot of research on the postmortems and such. I did. And uh, how many books and research did you read about the asylum system back then? The, with regards to the asylum, um, I've interviewed over 370 people. I come from Preston, which is basically where Whittingham was. Whittingham was the size of a small village. It, It was the largest mental the, the largest mental asylum in the UK of its time, the second largest in Europe. It was humongous. It was built in the 1800s and it was in operation until 1995. And it had its own railway station. It had its own shop. A ball, well, the recreation area was actually called a ballroom or theatre as well. And it housed everything you can imagine from shows to dances where the locals would go. So it, it was a very, it's a strange, set up it had sports courts it had a, a man-made pond the whole establishment was actually built in part by the patients themselves some of the patients went there before it opened and started excavating 